really, it's a good one. So, uh, so we get the web 2013. And who are you? I'm Bruno, founder of Aldebar Robotics, the company who developed now a new, a new kind of robot. Emotional robots, interactive robots, uh, benevolent robots, robots who, who want to help people, enhance people, kind of robots. Is it for real or is it just talk for now? It's something... What you, oh, you were on stage, right? Yes. What uh, did you show? There are already 5,000 robots of our robots around the world. So I show one of the robots, it's absolutely real. You can touch by program, you can already uh, write application to, to its, uh, with this robot and for the user. So we have a family of robots, different size, different capacities, physical capacities. Of course, I brought the smaller one, it's just to carry, but it's where we are. So what is the challenge with the robot? Is the challenge to pick something up and put it down, or the challenge something else? Right now. Majority of people in robotics are coming from the culture of industrial robotics. They are coming from useful robots, are performing tasks, and cleaning the floor, and so on. So they think the, the most important with robot is about utility, you know, left brain functions. And I think it's wrong. It's wrong. I think, yes, I think the most important is about acceptance, having people accepting robots. You know, the, the cognitive investment you need to make when you have a new device, a new technology to understand, to manage, uh, is, is maybe high or not, depending on, on which. But very often it's too high for many people. So evolution of technology is excluding people. How many people don't have still internet or uh, are not connected to, I don't know, Twitter, Facebook, or this? So many people, billions of people. Why? Because cognitive investment to enter that is too high for them. So I want to have a robot super intuitive, super intuitive interface that will allow everyone to enter in this new world, to have access to this new world, to feel comfortable in using these new technologies. So this is the main, 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 most important thing. And then the main challenge is to have to deal with emotions. I need my robot to be able to read some of your emotions. I see your body language. My robot is able to see your body language. And the body language is casting transcultural signals. So it's possible to embed in a robot the understanding of these signals. Then you can understand your feeling right now, your emotion, and, and, and use that to bring you more natural interface. It's the, the, it's the ultimate interface. Humanoid robot, the ultimate interface, because we are meant to communicate using our body language. We know how to do that naturally, and robots are comfortable with that. And that is in image recognition technology, some kind of stuff like that? Or where is it of course. technologically? How does it work? We have, uh, we have uh, uh, image technologies, uh, image analysis, face detection, face recognition, uh, smile detection, uh, uh, gaze uh, recognition, and so on. Okay, we have all that. We have voice recognition, we have dialogue, we have uh, speaking, we have all these questions. But these are just basic stories. Because you don't want a robot who is uh, speaking. You don't want... You, I'm sure you are not using uh, more than once a day Siri or this kind of things. Okay, you are using. It's great, fantastic technology. In your car, you can speak with your car, depending on the car you have. But you are using it once a day, twice a day. You are not interacting with. Because it's not meant to interact with. So I want people to be comfortable in interacting. So the most important is not one single piece, one single uh, stone, one single technology. It's having large technology enough gathering them together, turning them consistent, and turning something, uh, you, you know, uh, results of having an artificial robot. It's artificial, but it's alive. So, you know, this Are you important. talking about robots at all that do the dishes, cook food, uh, do the laundry, take out the trash, or is it different type of things? I'm speaking about bodies, human and robots, companion, able to speak with you. Of course, they can do some of these tasks. But it's not their main function. Their main function is to discuss with you, with your mother. To discuss, to be able to create a link. If something is happening, he will discover that something is happening, he will send you a picture. Uh, if there are an insurance company monitoring her, uh, may discover things and, uh, you know, your child, if you want him to be, to, to learn better, to learn in a specific way adapted to him. You know, in every country we are still using the 18th century way of teaching children. All the children have the same age in the same class and we are teaching them the same thing. Wow, that's crazy. They're, all of them are different. We need to adapt. 
education. Uh, it's a digital teacher, robot? Digi digital robot doesn't robot? know how to do that. But a robot, it's not a teaching robot, but a robot that can teach. You can have quiz gaming, but you know, you will, uh, the child will have fun with the, the robot, uh, answering questions or, or mimicking or things like that. But among that, the robot can tell, okay, this child, I'm recognizing his face. Each time I'm asking him questions about a mental cal calculation, he has some difficulties. So maybe can he find a way to teach him in another appropriate way? Because this child is more visual. Uh, or more auditive one, or more kinesthetic one, so the robot can change its way to teach. You know, all that is just a question of application. You know how to write application? You have readers or spectators who know how to write application. Come, join us, and you will see how we will boost this robotics. So how about the personality of the robot? Is that a new one, created one, or can you impersonate people also? Can you input the way people would respond and then respond as they would? There is a huge flexibility of what the robot can do, react, and customer can customize, can adapt, can program, but under some strict rules. We have very deep values, we have deep ethics at Al Debaron, because the last thing you want to have is a spying robot at home. So, or a robot that will behave improperly with your daughter or with your, right? So, so we have very strong value, very strong ethical rules. So we embedded them as more as we can on the robot. We are controlling all the applications that will that are uploaded on our app store application. So we are controlling all of them to be sure they are safe for the robot, for the people around, and whatever. And, uh, and among that, there is flexibility if you are following the rules, if you are following the ethical rules. So you say five thousand? So yes. Far? Yes. And, already. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, France? Where are they? Those 5,000? Globally, not yes. only France. Well, there are, uh, let me remember, 6% in France. 6%? In France. Is it arms? So they are in the, are in the United States, in, the, in Japan, in China, in Korea, in Germany, in Brazil. In... Uh, uh, is there an arm CPU inside? Uh, um, what, what is it? What is the hardware? Is a is it a platform you want to scale to millions and millions? You want everybody to have this? Yes, like in absolutely. Or yes. How soon? How soon should everybody have this? I, I won't tell you about that. I don't want to commit on that uh, because uh, we are exploring new ways. So I cannot tell you. Okay, it will be finished tomorrow because or in one month time because it's not development. It's still research on some parts, but it's very soon. So uh, Apple has made a lot of money on iPhones. Yeah. But now uh, Chinese make copies for thirty dollars. $50. Yeah. So the new uh, the new thing is wearable computing, but also robots. You think all the big companies are heavily invested in trying to make some? Uh, the rumor is that the Android guy is doing robots at Google. What yeah. is he doing? Do you know? I don't know exactly. I know That's him. A big deal, right? Do you think it's going to be huge? I know that uh, he's interested because it's a huge market. It's not the same kind of robotics. He's more under the industrial robot, useful robot, something slightly different. But the fact that huge groups, very powerful groups are investing and trying to do things means two things for me. First, it's the right time. And second, even though we are the world leader. You're the world leader. We are the world leader. So we are in front of them. And you know what? Groups like Microsoft are investing in robotics for more than 10 years. They began even before creation of Aldebaro. But you don't see Microsoft robots. Right? So that means even small companies are able to be much better than large ones. How cheap can it be, the robot? I won't tell you now. You won't tell you. Today is uh, expensive, no? Today we have a range of robots between 3,600 uh, 3, and 12,000 euros. A full range of robots. Cool. Okay. And Thank we will you. reduce the price. Thanks a lot. I would like to see 299. Okay. Well, thanks, thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Is that my car? Yeah. 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 Yeah.